right now we are in, in Senegal, in a city called Lembur, and our host is the African Institute for Mathematical Sciences. And this week we are conducting a winter school on the use of computing tools for modeling biological, ecological and socioeconomic systems. So I think that the best thing that, that happened to us is that AIMS offered us an opportunity to bridge our set of expertise and knowledge to a diverse group of students that have different backgrounds from mathematics to ecology. In this school we have 26 students, six from Germany and 20 from all over Africa. The school is financed by BMBF, the German Federal Ministry for Education and Research, via DAAD and AIMS. The courses that are going on are quite interesting. So the students, they start from the basic in a certain way. So you start from observations and then try to set up mathematical models. And then you use the computers, Python or any kind of program and then solve the program and then check again, compare with the data. We started the first days by developing basic uh, set of skills into modeling in general, regardless of the, of the programming language or the mathematical uh, tools that one wants to use. Then we introduced them to the programming language Python on the basic uh, manipulation of the language and how to use it. And then we proceed to introduce the students into classical ecological models. We keep developing complexity every day um, and we, we develop a model of nutrient, phytoplankton, zooplankton and detritus, which basically try to describe the dynamics of the open ocean. Then we switch a bit gears and, and we introduce them to a very powerful tool that is individual-based models. With this type of models, the, the students can expand their knowledge to include a new dimension, which is a spatial dimension and stochastic processes uh, into these models. So usually uh, we met at the breakfast table and uh, had some breakfast uh, together at the hotel. We had to leave at 8 or 8.15 uh, to get a minibus towards the Ames Institute. The input that we got simply by taking a ride from our hotel to this institute uh, was fascinating and enriching, I would say, because there was so much life and, and so many things happening on the streets, like you could not rest your view on a single thing for more than a few seconds because then you already lost something else. And when we arrived at the institute, we directly went into the classroom and started the course with some lectures during the morning. We got a lot of like information about the principal biological background processes and the model itself we are applying. And then um, we could have a short lunch break and afterwards apply all the stuff we learned during the lectures by programming our own models in the afternoon. Around 7ish we took the bus um, back to the hotel, which was usually a longer ride, as this is considered to be the rush hour here, and all the streets were full of cars and people and horses, which, uh, which were trying to get home as we were. And then we arrived usually at the hotel around 8ish, got home pretty tired and exhausted, <laughs> but we still could meet again for having a nice uh, dinner together at the hotel. And then usually if you have still had enough brain power, some people continued programming and others went straight to bed. As the course was going on, it was multi-discipline, like from ecosystem, biology, mathematics, Python programming. So at the beginning, I start revising what I knew the first day, starting the second day and, and continuing. I started learning new things, especially about this ecosystem and how the water body of the planet is important for uh, climate change. Sometimes it's not really easy to catch up because there are a lot of ecological terms and explanation of those something like plankton or phyto something. So sometimes it's difficult for the mathematician or from mathematical background to understand it. But uh, we managed somehow. I expected it to start a little bit, you know, much more easier. But when I got here and I saw that most of the students were actually mathematicians, then I realized, oh, I, I need to be prepared for something more complex. And at the end it was like this, which looking back now, I'm glad about this because I feel like for the mathematicians, it was helpful because they 
were exposed to some sort of biological science in the context of the models. And we as biologists were hardcore exposed to mathematics. <laughs> but I think it was very, for both sides, a very good process of learning. J'utilisais Python, mais pas à ce point-là. Parce que quand j'utilisais Python, c'était juste pour faire des petits algorithmes, faire des mises à jour, des trucs là. Mais là, je suis entré vraiment dans, dans Python, vraiment. Donc, j'ai appris beaucoup de choses que je n'avais pas compris avant. We learn a lot of things. <laughs> so, I'm satisfied with this workshop. I said, this is the best workshop I ever been. <laughs> Et le cours était très 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 pratique parce qu'on nous apprend quelque chose et puis on le pratique le soir, ça a été. Pour moi le cours était bien parce que j'ai eu ce que j'espérais et en suivant ces cours-là actuellement, j'ai une idée à partir d'un problème précis posé de construire un modèle et pouvoir le programmer dans Python. For PhD students like us, we need uh, that kind of thing, you know, interact with other researchers, uh, know, uh, try to, uh, we are able to know what they are doing, what are news, uh, we, ha we, have, we have the opportunity to exchange with them, learn from them, so I think it's good. <laughs> Ames. 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 Ames is African Institute for Mathematical Sciences. Ames is a Pan-African network of uh, centers of excellence in education, research and outreach. Okay, so we are currently at Ames, Senegal, and we have three main buildings. The main lecture hall on my stream right, and over there we have the office of the chair of mathematics and its application. And here we have the ad administrative block in addition to the computer lab. And this is where most of the stu students spend their time because it's course intensive, so most of the assignments and everything. So they spend virtually 90% of their time at the uh, computer lab. So on, on top of the lab, we have the administration block. The office of the CEO, the Chief Executive Officer, Finance Section, the main Director of Finance, and then the Accountants, yeah. Okay, so over there we have the, the main lecture hall, the Office of the Tutors, and the restaurant, where the lecturers, in addition to the students, have their breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Um, this is the building for the Chair of Mathematics and its application, which is funded by the Humboldt and DAD. And from time to time, as part of the Chair's activity, he organizes uh, conference and workshops. And this winter school happens to be the third time yeah, we are hosting this particular program. All the M centers are always close to the beach and mostly isolated from the main cities, so that students can have ample time to study. I've never heard about AIMS before, but um, I'm so glad that it exists and that it gives the possibilities and chances to African students to get some good training. AIMS uh, is very interesting because uh, it's a very particular setting. Um, so there is, the infrastructure is locally in the country, in Africa, but uh, lecturers come from all over the world, from top universities. In this way, you can really ensure that you bring high quality education in Africa and also by uh, providing funding for research uh, then also high quality research can be can be achieved rencontrer des à l'université n'a pas cette opportunité là et je pense qu'il y a de que quelques petites écoles que tu peux avoir cette opportunité à Ems il y a tout le temps des mouvements des va et vient des étrangers viennent partager leur expérience avec toi, ça c'est une bonne chose, partager leur culture avec toi, et ça c'est une bonne chose. Je pense que tout individu, toute personne dans ce monde-là a besoin de voyager. Si toi tu ne peux pas aller partir, que la, le monde vienne vers toi, et ça c'est une bonne chose, je pense. AIMS, in general, is changing the life of many young African students. I can say that from experience, many of my friends or many of my classmates have got further study like 
second master or PhD because of AIMS. Or I can tell you my experiences before I came to AIMS, I don't know what is next. I don't know even how I have to give scholarship, how I have to talk to professors and all these things. And AIMS is the center which enables me to think about doing research, publishing a paper, writing an article. Ce, ce concept-là est quelque chose de bien. C'est une opportunité qu'on offre aux, étu, aux étudiants africains qui n'ont pas les moyens d'aller continuer leurs études ailleurs, de venir continuer leurs études et de réaliser leurs rêves. Here in M Senegal, the, the German government has been the main funding resource. And the researchers, the German researchers, in fact, they joined the program. And in the last year, so we have more than 30 Germans who have visited the Ems Institute. The students and at the same time, teachers and researchers. You come here and you come to Ems and you learn and when you go back, you start to see things differently. Yeah, that's Ems. And, and I, in my opinion, Ems set up the environment that allows to develop something and most of the time starting almost from nothing you can really develop something so this is one of the reasons why i believe that there is a positive future on mc and in my opinion in the next years mc will be the hub of science in africa <music>